Hello and welcome back to another video about property prices in Portugal. And in this video, we are talking about cheap property in Lisbon. Lisbon is a favorite area of a lot of people who are relocating in Portugal, at least at the beginning, until they got to visit and have a sense of the place. And most of them re relocate to another areas of Portugal. If you are new here, I'm Luisa and on this channel we are talking everything about the real life in Algarve. But from time to time I am also doing videos about property prices all over Portugal. And why I'm doing that is not because I'm a realtor, not because I want to sell you anything. If I am going to have collaboration on this uh, channel, you will know about it. And why I'm doing this video is because I really, really like houses. I, I like looking at properties, stepping into property, seeing how they um, been renovated and one of my favorite things to do here in Algarve, especially in this period when everything is closed, is just take a walk in uh, the car or by foot and just looking at the houses. Uh, of course, I don't know anyone here. I cannot go into actual seeing and filming the property, but I like looking at the facade, at the gardens and just, I don't know, sometimes I come home and look uh, on the internet how much does a property cost in a certain area. And I'm doing that not because I'm a realtor, but because I'm passionate about the subject. And the second reason I do these videos is because you seem to like it, you seem to uh, watch these videos more than others, more than the ones that are about the, my life here in Algarve. So from time to time, because they are really, really watched and sought out, I'm going to do also a video about property prices and I'm going to pick and choose a place in Portugal to do that. This place, Lisbon, was chosen uh, because uh, one of you guys requested that and today we are talking about price houses in Lisbon and I was just curious to see how low can we go with the budget in Lisbon. The site I'm using for in my research to do that is Idealista.pt. I also uh, look at other sites, but Idealista.pt is the site that I use when I look for cheap properties. Speaking of cheap, this mug cost me 1 euro 50 and it is from Continente and I really like it because it's blue like uh, Algarve Azulejos. What you should expect from uh, the video today is very quirky places, very tiny small places and places that are more suitable for rental, for investing rather than living. But I learned from the comments and for interacting with you guys that there are all kinds of people in this world, people who are capable of living in such small places. So who am I to say that these places, they are very quirky and tiny and more like for living one or two days, some people can actually live in it. To tell you the truth, I never thought I would find something that cheap in the range of 70,000 euros, but I found it. Even if they are very odd and very small, they are there on the market. And of course that I chose, like says in the title, only the properties that you can actually live in. Because take it from me, it's better to move directly into a house that it's renovated and ready to move in if you are not, if you are planning to relocate immediately in Portugal. The first apartment we are going to see, it's a T1 in center of Lisbon, fairly large, 50 square meters, a T1, meaning uh, there is a one bedroom, 78,000 euros. Let's see the description of the apartment. It says here that's uh, an ideal for investment. It's uh, in one of the neighborhoods which are historic, meaning that uh, it's close to the center of Lisbon. It has um, one kitchen, one bathroom and one room, uh, two rooms, meaning a bedroom and one living room. And it's sold with the furniture that you are going to see in the pictures. It's close to all the sightseeing. And um, let's see the apartment, let's see the pictures. What, why I like this apartment is because um, the building is, uh, has an historical flair. And I guess uh, if you are moving to Lisbon, you are going to look for that. 
I really really like the building and of course I like that the apartment has uh, 50 square meters which is a lot for this price range in Lisbon. This is the kitchen. It's a small kitchen but it's separate for the rest of the living space which can be good if you are choosing to cook. It's um, an older building so it's normal that you are going to find more of a closed kitchen comparing to the newer buildings which have a more of an open plan. I really really like the fact that it's renovated and the furniture can be used and like I said in the title it's ready to move in. This is another picture of the kitchen. It doesn't uh, really have a window, this kitchen, but it has uh, here this kind of like miraduro when you, where uh, you can um, have some light. And of course, this other space here, this other space here also brings a little light into the kitchen. But apart from this, you will only have artificial light. This is the entrance to the apartment, of course, not very comfortable, but they did what they could with the space. You also have these uh, cabinets where you can store things. This is the bathroom, not small, not large. It's a separate bathroom. Uh, you are going to see also the bathrooms that are in the actual living space in these price ranges so this is a plus that it's separate and has a closed door this is the bedroom i think it's a good space for the price you can remove this if you want more space this um, storage for the clothes and maybe put something from ikea just uh, something to hang your clothes. I really like this uh, method of storing clothes. Y you also get the advantage that uh, you can air the clothes if they are not stored in the cabinet. And I don't know, it's, it adds up to the charm and you get more space. Also here you can put something like uh, a table, you can make a small office or maybe put um, a mirror, I don't know. What I observe here that uh, this uh, bedroom is on another level. You have here some stairs and this can be an inconvenience, but in uh, older buildings you should expect all kinds of, um, I don't know, these quirks. And this is the facade of the building. I guess the, it's the pink one, I don't know. And this is the street, kind of in the center of Lisbon and of course when you are moving to Lisbon and you want to be in the historical center you have to take into consideration that you have all these hills walk up and down and you have to consider that depending on your age or what you want to do every day. Let's see the map. This is the map, we don't know the exact street but we see that the apartment is marked here close to Miraduro Peña da Franza. So here somewhere here. Here somewhere and here is the center of Lisbon Alfama. So kind of a good good position and for the price I think it's a good apartment to show. This of course can be good also for living but also for renting. Moving on to the second apartment in this bracket, it's a T0 meaning it's, it has only one room, it's 70,000 euros, it's much smaller, only 25 square meters and I chose to show you this apartment, well because there are not a lot of apartments in this bracket but also because this is completely renovating brand new and this is reflected also in the price. The fact that it's in Lapa, in Estrela, which is a very nice area, it's also reflected in the price but more it's reflected in the price the fact that it's brand new and renovated. It's in the historic center of Lisbon it comes with all the furniture and the kitchen who is 
uh, has all the equipment if you are comparing to the other one it's much more expensive it's much smaller but this is because of the area and um, the fact that it's completely renovating i think it's a very good investment if you want to rent but also if you want to stay in lisbon and you don't have uh, a lot of money you are searching in this price range so this is a picture from the living which is the the only room of the apartment here you have the bed a small storage which also serves the function of the kitchen i see this is the kitchen the renovation are very very nice and i think they did the most they could with the space i like those uh, those things here above the sink you can store things divided here you have the sitting room and here you have the bed and then you enter into the kitchen and the bathroom the bathroom and the kitchen are um, one besides the other which is not very good but i guess they didn't have much of a choice so for the money i don't know it's a very very small place but this is the kind of uh, places you are going to get in this price range in lisbon the fact that it's very renovated and ready to move in it's also good for the investment but also you can move here and start your new, new life in lisbon the third apartment it's larger 38 square meters it's 77.50 and it's reduced in price from 19,000 euros it's in santa clara also a very very good neighborhood and what I liked is the fact that it has a lot more space than the previous one and it has also some furniture. It says here that um, it's in an area which is very calm. I mean, they want to say that you don't have, get uh, much noise in this area, that you are close to all kinds of transports and you have a close Leroy Merlin, Continente, Burger King, so you have uh, all the amenities so close by. Also uh, Santa Clara, I think it's a very nice area. Let's see here. Here is the apartment and this is the area here and here you have the ocean, the sea, also a good area to live in Lisbon and let's see the pictures if you are getting past the fact that uh, the ceiling is horrible I think uh, it's a very nice living space here the kitchen is open so you can put here and they put here like an island the place is renovated not much to my taste but you can uh, make small changes small investments and you can make it your own you have here a big, big window, which is good. I think you can do a lot with this space. It, you can uh, replace this ceiling, which is horrible. And here you can start with the furniture that is already in this place and you can add some things from Ikea. And you really can turn this place around. And it's a lot of space. Of course, it's a lot of space because this space of the kitchen takes from the space of the room. This is also the main living space. Here you have um, the living room. So maybe you can make this uh, space of the kitchen smaller and you can add to the living space. The bathroom, the main thing about this bathroom is the fact that it has a window. The fact that uh, this is put on the this step is also a quirk of the building i think the building is uh, very old maybe you can paint the doors but uh, i would keep these doorknobs because they are old and very very nice i don't like at all the tiles in the bathroom but they can be used and this is the bedroom it's a nice space, but what I don't like at all at this house is the ceiling, that it's uh, very low and you can uh, feel claustrophobic in here, but maybe you can remove this. I don't know, this remains to be seen. 
but the space is very good i mean it's a fairly large bedroom for this price and also has a window this is the view from the kitchen and you can get a sense of the place and the room yes yeah, so it's not really really renovated but it's a place you can live in also for the price and for the location and for the fact that it's reduced another thing to be mentioned is that it's at the third level without elevator this thing without elevator is not a nice thing to live with because uh, you have to imagine yourself with all the groceries on the stairs so even if you are a very young person this is not nice but again in this price range you have to give a little to buy something like this in lisbon moving on to another t0 in santo antonio da gloria 85,000 euros a very small place 18 square meters one room without elevator <laughs> yes a lot of uh, a lot of things that uh, are not okay but why uh, i want to show you this apartment is because it's renovated it has furniture included it's very close to the center of avenida da libertad de principe real it has uh, allongamento local which is uh, the permission for you to rent the place i guess uh, these owners of course they don't live here they rent the place and these types of apartments are really more suitable for an investment than to live in of course there are people who can live in 18 square meters but it's much more convenient to rent a place for someone who wants to to visit lisbon at a very very small price and pay a small price for the rent let's see the area this is the area and you see it's very close to jardin du principe real which is a very nice very nice area i mean it's kind of like the center of lisbon this is Avenida da Libertad, right smack in the center of Lisbon. I remember from my days in Lisbon, I didn't live there, but uh, I visited and it was a very nice place to walk when we had tourists back in the day. Let's see the photos. I think this is Jardim de Príncipe Real. This is the facade of the building, of course, a very old building. And this is the place. So this is all that you get this is the main area the main room where they put a bed a nice table from ikea <laughs> and this is the kitchenette and here we can observe that maybe we have some natural light do you have uh, air conditioning here the kitchenette this is from ikea it's very recognizable and a very very small bathroom and this is the building it's obvious that here you are paying for the location because it's a very touristy location like they said here prime location and really really it's very suitable for an investment another apartment at the same price 85,000 euros this is much larger than the previous one but still very tiny 34 square meters this is more renovated and it's not uh, in a very recognizable area. I never heard about Angels Arroyos. Let's see where this is. They didn't put it on the map, but I think somewhere over here. Here, somewhere. I don't know this area in Lisbon. They say that this apartment is refurbished with quality furniture it's very modern they say it's in center of lisbon but i think they would say that about a lot of areas in lisbon they say that the apartment is currently rented let's see the pictures i really don't like this yellow but because the space is very very small i guess they wanted a, a dash of color 
I chose this to show you again because there are not a lot of uh, apartments in this uh, bracket of price to show you and I chosen the more renovated one, the ones that uh, you can actually live in. The renovation is very nice. I like this uh, door that um, they, uh, in order to save space, they made in uh, this door that it's open into the wall. I also like the fact that they um, put wooden floors in order to make the space look more bright and more sophisticated. I like the fact that they use quality materials and this wooden beam here, they uh, kept it exposed and it adds charm to the place. Also, they created or they kept these two areas with these little stairs in order to separate the spaces. So here you have the kitchenette and you can use this space to put, a, I don't know, a table. And here you can make your living room with the couch and the TV. All in all, I like what they did to the place. Of course, it has to be a quirk. To this place this is the entrance i really really don't like this type of doors you know this is a door and also this is a window that you can open i don't really like it and also you have these stairs so you have to come down to enter the apartment i mean yeah in lisbon you are going to find this type of uh, quirks because they are uh, very old buildings A picture from the bathroom, I like the shower. So I uh, think by now you are kind of making an impression of what you can buy in this bracket. 70,000 euros, 80,000 euros. Basically it's a very, very small place. Some are renovated, some are not renovated, but mostly renovated and mostly suitable for investment, but also for a person who is used to live in such small places and they want to get a, a foothold in Lisbon, in Portugal, or they are very young people for whom uh, these places are suitable. Moving on to a little more money, 89, 19, Practically, this is 90,000 90, euros. A very small place, T0 in Alfama. This is uh, actually the old town of Lisbon. It's very, very central and it's reflected in the price, kind of here somewhere. You cannot get more central than this. Also, I guess it's made for rental. The place is sold with the furniture and uh, it's totally refurbished. They say here that the building is very well maintained and conserved. It has all the equipment in the bathroom and the kitchen that you would need. Being in the center, of course, uh, it's a very touristy area. You have to be mindful of that if you are buying this for yourself when the tourists are going to come back it's going to be a very noisy area but on the plus side of things you are right smack in the center of things if you are the type of person who likes to be in the center of a town maybe a younger person who wants to be close to the bars and clubs and where the action is this is very 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 suitable for you like they say here it's a very privileged location, the apartment is very comfortable and if your dream is to live in a bairro typico portugues, meaning uh, you want to experience the real um, Lisbon, the old Lisbon, this is um, the ideal apartment for you. This is the room, they divided it to create a kitchenette here and this is also the bed where you sleep and also you can use that as a, a sofa and here to put a little TV. This is the entrance door, I guess. What I don't really like is that you enter right in the room. You don't have like a hallway and this is a little uh, strange. It would be nice to have a hallway, but the space is very, very small. The kitchen. I like how they divided the space, of course it's very cramped, but I like that they put this wooden thing here, it looks very stylish and it really divides the places. 
and the bathroom. I like the door. <laughs> and I like the shower. And this is the, I guess, the street, one of the streets nearby. And this is the actual entrance into the apartment. And this is the street. Oh, I guess there are several apartments, you see. And this one is the one that it, it is selling. And if you are observing here, it's a little, I think this is a restaurant and it looks like a very, very charming street, a building with character. So if you are that type of person who likes that and search for that, I think this is ideal. Of course, very, very small, but renovated and ready to move in. Adding a little bit to the price, and this is going to show in the square footage, this apartment is 41 square meters. It has two rooms, a T1, meaning you have a separate bedroom. In Estrella, this is kind of the area marked for the apartment here somewhere. Here, it's Estrella, Jardim de Estrella. So this is kind of the area. They say that this apartment is situated in a villa, it has one bathroom, it's constructed in 1951, it doesn't have an elevator and it's 100,000 euros. Maybe you can negotiate. Of course, all these are asking prices, you can negotiate this. I don't know if you are going to be successful or not, but it depends on your luck and the situation of the owner. Always try to negotiate. This shows that the, already this apartment is reduced in price. I don't know if what you are actually seeing on these sites it is a real information. They maybe put those kind of information here just to to create an impression that you are already get a reduced price. What I like about this bathroom is that it has a tall ceiling. I like the fact that it has a big, big window. I like the fact that it has a shower. It's not really, really renovated. I mean, top notch renovation, but you can live in it. This is uh, one of the rooms, which is the living room, smallish but it can qualify as a living room and it shows that this apartment is not quite renovated you have to really add up a little you can of course put it together with a small investment of course maybe paint it because it has these uh, marks on the walls and maybe paint a little if you paint this all white it can add to the sensation that the apartment is bigger this room doesn't have a natural light and of course, this other room is the bedroom. The way they put this bed, I mean the bed, it's totally unsuited for the room because you see, you don't have much room to get, to actually get into the bed. This framing of the bed, it's not suited for the room. You need something to, to actually can get into the bed from this side of the bed. They put so... Um, so little pictures, I don't know why don't they put more. I guess this is also a tactic not to show you the all the aspects of the apartment. For example, we don't know if this room has a window, so we don't know if it has natural light. From the pictures, it seemed that here on this other side of the room might be natural light, but we don't really know. It would be nice for the realtors who present these apartments to actually show you the whole meal deal. And we don't know if this apartment has a hallway, where is the entrance, but it has 41 square meters and it's uh, in a good area in Lisbon. So maybe you can take a look if you are, I don't know, interested. Another apartment in the bracket of 100,000 euros. It's also in Alfama, <laughs> a very central area. You cannot get a, any center than this. This is Alfama here. It has the 30 square meters, but in 30 square meters, the owner managed to squeeze a bedroom. It says here is T1. It says that uh, from this apartment, you only walk two minutes 
to get to Port do Sol. The apartment was uh, refurbished four years ago and it's ready to, to move in. It's a typical apartment in a typical area in Lisbon, close to you to restaurants, close to trans transports and all the services. What they don't uh, say here that it's also situated on the hill. So don't forget that you are, if you are choosing to live in Alfama, you are going to make a lot of physical exercise because uh, the area is situated on the hill. Like they say in the ad, the entrance in the apartment is right from the street. So this is the main entrance. I really like this door. And this is the street here, so you don't get a hallway or this entrance is not in a building. You just come right into the house. I like these chairs, so I like the furniture that they used. I like the fact that it has wooden floors. I don't like this, uh, this thing here with the stripes. Being such a small place, I don't think you have to use... Uh, dark colors to decorate the place but this is just my opinion this is also the door another door i see so from the outside the door it looks very nice painted this green but from the the inside i don't really like the door because you see it doesn't really look that safe being uh, the, the entrance right from the street it might be dangerous i know lisbon it's a fairly safe place portugal is one of the safest places uh, in europe but still i wouldn't feel comfortable uh, with this door this is the place this is the room here they managed to squeeze a bedroom let's see if we have yes this is the bedroom practically just a space to sleep you don't get much here other than this bed the kitchenette i guess they uh, shrinked the kitchen in order to squeeze that bed there and uh, you can uh, already see that they have a allongamento local. If you see that type of uh, things in the house, you know that they have allongamento local and this place is for rent because these are the requirements. You have to have these in your place in order to rent the house. The bathroom. not really much of a renovation here i guess you have to repair these or just wash it cleaning i don't know the view is really nice over lisbon and here you see the water really really nice and here i think it's the famous uh, electrico 34 the tram a small place in a very touristy area nicely done refurbished but a little pricey if you ask me moving on to 110,000 euros we have this t2 t2 apartment 72 square meters of course in not such a touristy area this apartment is in santa engracia sao vicente somewhere over here <laughs> it also looks that is still in the center of lisbon says that is um, not refurbished so i guess this also it's reflected in the price i mean you get that uh, small price because it's not refurbished but maybe because this apartment is um, larger and uh, it's a T2 you can actually live in it and rehabilitate it to your needs and to your taste but says that uh, the actual building was rehabilitated so the the apartment you have to refurbish and renovate but the actual building it is renovated and it's a part this building uh, has uh, three apartments and also says that this apartment is close to the metro and you can walk there 
I chose this apartment because it's in a central position, it's big for the price and it has two rooms, I mean three rooms, two bedrooms and one living. And I really like what they did to the building, they renovated and kept the style, the old style of the building, you see with these azulejos, with this wood here, with these wooden stairs. It's a very nice building to live in and the fact that the building has only three apartments it's also a very good thing. You have uh, less noise and the ceiling, the renovation of the ceiling, it's very nice. They kept all the old moldings. As you can see the stairs, the building, the building it's quite extraordinary, quite special. Very very nice az azulejos and the three apartments the Correos. This is the building. It would be interesting what apartment is for sale because this here has a nice balcony. Here also it's a small, very small balcony. You cannot sit here, but you can sit here on the top of this. And these are the pictures from the actual apartment. As you can see, it is not renovated, but what big windows. I really really like these windows from the bottom to the top of the room. This looks like the kitchen. This is one of the bedrooms. Uh, this has a very small window, I don't like this, but maybe. But I don't think so if the actual building is also actually renovated, you cannot enlarge this. So this bedroom has a small window, I don't like that. This space can be renovated and used. I think this is another access into the apartment. We don't get uh, a lot of pictures from the actual apartment because I think the apartment it's a mess, but they do try to show you that uh, this is a good investment because it's a really nice building, nice renovated building. I guess you can do a lot with this apartment, but um, what you have to bear in mind when you buy an apartment to renovate in Lisbon is that you need approvals and approvals to renovate uh, an older apartment, they are very hard to come by. A lot of people renovate the apartment without any papers, they just renovate it and they worry about the papers later or even at all. I don't know if you are the type of person who wants to do that. You want to make some uh, changes in the apartment without the proper documentation. The, f the actual layout of the apartment, what you can see from these I don't know, two pictures, is that some walls you might want to demolish in order to enlarge the space and for that you are going to need approval. It's a contender, it's for sure a nice place to, to go to see, at least to visit the building <laughs> and to make an idea what you can buy with in this kind of price range. Moving on to Alcantarala. 115,000 euros, 45 square meters, and in 45 square meters you only get one room. It's a hell of a room <laughs> for 45 square meters. Alcantarala, I don't know where it is. They say it's also in a very good area in Lisbon, central. Oh, so this is Alcantarala. Alcantarala, I think it's really on the port. It seems also a prime location from the map. Oh, close to Belém. I like this area. It says that the kitchen is separate and it's uh, refurbished and has all the um, equipment you need. It says that uh, the apartment is in very good shape light and bright and has natural light which is very important we are going to see that it says in uh, that is in a biotypico in lisbon it has uh, it's very close to transport and it's also very close to a hospital in lisbon you are bound to be close to public transports or restaurants or especially if you are in these prime locations 
also says that this area has a lot of touristy uh, places so this place would be good for an investment to rent it looks like it's completely refurbished it shows like uh, it has a luminous feel it has two windows not very large windows but still this is the kitchen i really don't like the furniture because uh, it has this wooden feel i think in these small places you really need the furniture to be white or something with a bright color ingenious to put this here i don't don't really really like the the finishing on this apartment i guess they could have used uh, more quality tiles and they could refurbish this um, bathroom to look a little more sleek so no i don't think these are prime prime uh, furnishing i think they could uh, they could do a, a more with this apartment but i guess the price is for the fact that the apartment has 45 square meters and it's in a prime location of course without elevator i guess in if you are buying in an older building you have to expect not to have an elevator moving on to another apartment 120,000 euros 44 square meters and this apartment has a separate bedroom i liked kind of the area and the fact that it has a second bedroom of course the price 120 thousand euros you see uh, little by little you add uh, a few thousand euros and another few thousand euros and suddenly you move to the bracket from the bracket of 70,000 euros to 120,000 euros almost double in Lisbon you are bound to to do that you don't even um, notice when you double the price and you can say for what because we are also at t1 and we are also in a very small place 44 square meters you can find 44 square meters at 70 18 000 euros also in 120 000 euros but i guess the difference is the location the re rehabilitation of the building it says that it's sold furnished with the furniture from the kitchen it has four apartments on each floor it's a bio tranquilo means it's a quiet area and it says here it, that is constructed in 1997 which is a fairly new building interesting so you see the the feel you get from the apartment that it's a big apartment so this is one of the rooms here are the the windows the windows are typical for a type of uh, block they separated this area and added a bed i like the wooden floors and the main reason the main aspect of this apartment uh, is that it feels very big you have here the kitchen net it's separate but not closed the kitchen is separate but not closed you see don't you don't have here a door and also i don't think that this kitchen has a window it doesn't show that it has a window this is the area the street where the building is i think this is the building one of these two and it doesn't uh, you don't really understand from the picture if this is yours in the apartment or if this is a common space and the entrance is very odd i mean you have to climb these stairs to get into the apartment well it says here that it's a t1 but i really don't see where the bedroom is so you would expect to have a separate bedroom not the bed to be in the same space as the living room i don't know maybe here you had two rooms and the owner just removed one wall i don't know to make it look big it's not my favorite apartment that's for sure a t0 fully refurbished 119,000 euros 32 square meters it's at first level and i like this because it's furbished i like uh, this because of the windows let's see what it says it's fully refurbished everything it's new 
It's five minutes from Muse Museum du Fado, so a touristy area in Alfama. You know by now where Alfama is. So yes, I chose this because it's uh, refurbished, everything is new and you kind of tend to go towards something that it's fully refurbished and it's ready to move in. You don't need, if you are moving to Lisbon and you want to live here, you really don't want to stay in a hotel until you refurbish the apartment. Of course, if you are thinking of moving here for a long term, Yes, you want to take this, you want to take an apartment and refurbish it, but I don't think you would uh, buy these type of apartments, which are really, really small. And I don't think you can live in something like this long term. So either you are taking this to rent, in which case you need something that is fully fully refurbished and ready to, to rent the second day you are buying it in order to, to produce profit for you, to produce uh, an income, or you just want something temporarily until you get a better feel of the place. I like how they constructed the bed. The bed is uh, incastrated in the wall, so you can put the bed up and um, this area in, uh, during the daytime you can use as something else very ingenious i also like the windows they are very big and typical <laughs> for uh, this um, historic place in lisbon i also like the kitchenette don't like the color but i like the the finishing I like the doors. The doors uh, reminds me of a hotel. So this apartment has a hotel feel. I also like how they use the space and put here this uh, retractable table. I like what they did with the refrigerator also. All in all, they, they really try to make this uh, apartment, to use the space in this apartment as to the best of their abilities. I also like the w the bathroom. The bathroom has a window. Also, they incastrated this. It really has a hotel feel and I like hotels. If I could, I would live in a hotel. So, of course, uh, I was drawn to this apartment with this hotel feel. I also like what they did here. They created this space to put, uh, I don't know, some uh, things that you keep in the bathroom. I also have this in my house. The quality of uh, what the appliances they use, you can see it's top quality. And the building really looks very nice, really nice. And I think this is the apartment here. So you also get this mini space outside where you can at least I don't know if you can put a table or a chair to drink your coffee in the morning, but at least you can stand up and soak up the, the sun and the, the feel of the, the Lisbon in the morning. Yes, I, I kind of like this apartment a lot. The building is uh, refurbished, it's new. It really, really looks very nice. Of course, the space is very, very small. It's hard to live in such a small place for, uh, for a time. It can be doable, but not for a retirement or something like this. I think this is my top favorite from this video. Moving on to another apartment. And I chose this apartment because it's a T1. It has 50 square meters, 120 square meters thousand euros and in the, it's Sao Vicente in Grassa, also a prime location. Here you have Miradouro de Grassa, of course you have Jardim de Grassa here, prime location in Lisbon. All of those apartments are in prime location in Lisbon because they are mainly refurbished and used for rental. The building it's not so new, it's from 1951. I cannot say that I like uh, what they did with the kitchen, but at least it's white and it's big. You have a lot of counter space here. I like the wooden floors. I appreciate that they thought to put here tiles in the kitchen and also they use tiles in a traditional way. I mean, the 
this type of tiles reminds you of the old Lisbon, but even if the idea, it, it seems great, it doesn't look so good. I mean, here they should have put wooden tiles also in the kitchen. I like the idea of this space. So here you have a little, uh, you can put here uh, some pillows and use this space to read or relax. But I, what I don't like is that this space has only this window. It's very small and this is the main entrance in the space. You enter right from the street. You have these stairs here. It shows that it's an old building with um, a lot of quirks. So I guess this is the space from for the bedroom. They separated the spaces with this glass. I don't think you get much privacy here. Again, ideal for renting, not so ideal to live in. The idea is nice, it looks nice, but it's not very practical. But the space for putting the bed and everything, it's large. I think here you can put your clothes. I like that they kept it white. I really don't like this color of the wooden floors. They could have used something that looks more expensive. But I like these tiles in the bathroom and they incastrated these, so uh, they look expensive. I also like the shower, what they use here in the shower, this glass door, it's of quality, it, but it looks like uh, this is not uh, finished. Maybe it's finished now when you are buying it. So it looks like here is the bathroom, here is the kitchen, here you would put a, I don't know, a sofa and here you would have the space for the bed. And I think this is the entrance from the street, directly from the street. Expect a lot of tourists and a lot of noise, but the uh, street is very, very typical for Lisbon. So what did you think about these apartments? Do they worth the value? Even if it seems a small budget, still the apartments are very quirky and small. What do you think? Would you buy an apartment like that? Or after seeing this video, maybe you think you should go somewhere outside Lisbon and buy something bigger. Leave it in the comments, subscribe to the channel if you are not already, also check uh, the other video about the properties and also about the life in Algarve here and I will see you in my next one. Bye!